so bad. We've got our little Movembers going, eh? Jeez, that's so pathetic for now. Yours is looking pretty good. So tell me, uh, what's this about all oh, commodity prices going up here? Right? What's well, the main one everyone's talking about? It's always gold, eh? Why well, does everyone always talk about gold? You should talk about something useful like oil, copper, or iron ore, eh? Because those prices have also been going up. Let's just remind ourselves that the copper price, when we look at the NYMEX one, is almost back at those levels last seen in kind of April, May $4. 2008, you know, $4 uh, a pound. So in part, I think everyone's got excited in this flurry, sold off the dollar, bought commodities. And why would people want to be earning commodities? I suppose it's... Just it's remind me, if you yield earn like a, a bar of uh, copper, I mean, a bar of gold, how much uh, does it pay out in dividends on an annual? It doesn't pay any. And you've got to pay someone to guard it, right? Mm. Because someone might steal it, buff you over the head. But so everything it, else There's is, a lot of uncertainty about inflation and deflation, and that's why people are buying it, because of the, the inflation. The huge. gold bags must be going completely nuts. And also, it? obviously, the dollar's weakening. But it's not just the hard commodities, also the soft commodities, mm. stuff like cotton... And also see uh, sugars on another tear again, you know, and uh, cocoa and coffee, all those. So, things. do you think is it demand by the consumer, or is it just that there's so much cash out there, people are looking for places to put it? Well, if you're in an environment where a dollar is weakening, so let's say, for instance, we lived in the U.S. and you wanted to be able to hedge yourself, make sure that uh, your dollars were being inflated. So, as mm-hmm. the dollar weakened, you've got this currency where you and you feel the dollar is going to weaken further. Yeah, so you can use commodities, hard or soft, mm. as some sort of uh, hedge against your own. Which in currency. turn will probably weaken the dollar further, because you're investing out of the dollar. No, not necessarily, I don't think. But also, Paul raised an interesting point, and that was like um, the long treasuries and also cash yields are giving you nothing. Mm. So, you know, the gold price has been going up as a function of, you know, the fundamentals where people are worried in an uncertain world. So is there no difference between a treasury bond and a gold bond? Except the one pays you a yield. And small yield. Small yield, yeah. Although there have been calls by some crazy types in the US to go back to a gold and silver um, peg of sorts. So, I mean, what to have the US uh, currency. Remind me what product. platinum means again? Platinum. I don't know. There's not Something enough. to do with gold yeah, and silver. And unfortunately, <laughs> there's not enough of that to go around. So, if you want. Uh, but I don't, I don't buy that whole argument. It's nonsense. But anyhow, this is good for all our companies. Why? Because the majority of them are commodity Yes, exactly, in our exchange. So they're all going up sharply, and that's good news for us.